Hi everyone, it's Kathy Maxson with Craft Creations by Kathy. Um, today I want to show you um, I made a cemetery vase with some purple roses. Um, my mom really liked purple so I made this to put at the cemetery and I just kind of wanted to show you um, what I did. Um, I used some ficus leaves and the roses and then this is just the cemetery vase. So things you're going to need, you're going to need a cup so you'll be able to hold um, your vase while you're working on it. Um, two bushels of long stem roses. Um, I think these were called tea, tea cup roses. I got them at the Dollar Tree. I also got the cemetery vase at the Dollar Tree. Uh, the number is 967379. The flowers I have here, this one says it's 303-425-2012. So I did have a dozen in here, um, and you're going to need one ficus bush from Hobby Lobby. Their floral is 50% off every other week. They were just on sale. Um, I went and picked some stuff up today. Um, so your floral at Hobby Lobby is 50% off every other week. So next week it won't be on, on half off. And then you're also going to need a styrofoam base that you're going to put inside your cemetery base. Um, they didn't have the cones. I tried looking for the cones at Dollar Tree. The couple that I went to today did not have any. So I did get a square. It's a 2.9 by, so it's 3 by 4. Um foam block. I cut it in half. I cut it the long way. Um, and then you kind of have to chisel away to make it kind of round or sphere. So then I'm just going to put my foam in there and I'm going to push it as far as I can down so some will stick up. So that's probably about an inch. So I'm going to take this one aside. I'm going to put this one in here. Um, other tools that you're going to need, you're going to need, I have a thimble. So I have a thimble because I'm going to, um, actually over here is a, it's going to put a pick on the bottom of my um, stems. If you do not have a pick machine, you can get a, it's called a wood pick where it's, uh, probably a couple inches long and it's got a wire on it that you can just wire your stem to that wood pick and it'll be easier to push in. Um, we're going to use cutters. I just have the basic pliers and I'm going to put some Spanish moss. So I'm going to show you on the purple one. I put some Spanish moss just to cover the foam. So you're going to need some Spanish moss and then I have some picks that I'm going to push the moss in with. So let's just get started. So I just did a little bit of moss that will make a mess on your table. So we're just going to put the moss and we are going to just pick that in. So that will stay in place. We kind of, you know, want it to go down around, you know, the sides. You can stuff it in a little bit. I mean, you can use your flowers to push that down into the vase a little bit if you had any, a little bit of space. I'm just going to continue putting in a couple more in. to hold that moss in place. Once you start getting your flowers in there, it will also be holding it in place. And then you can always just pull all that off. So I'm gonna clean up this little bit of glass. Get that to the side. Okay, so let's get our flowers cut. Um, you can always cut them shorter, so just cut them off as long as you can. And then I'm 
you know, we will cut them shorter. So, get that out of the way. So like I said, I'm going to use a whole dozen of them. And we're gonna kinda make a pyramid We're gonna put a taller one in the center and then we'll kinda come down from there. Then we're gonna cut up the ficus. So I'm just gonna cut all of these off. I'm gonna stick them over here by my pick machine and I'll show you. So these are all, I'm just cutting them in the batch of threes that they come in. So you can see each little sprout is three. So I'm just gonna do that. So again, that number from Hobby Lobby for the ficus was 775056. I don't know if I told you that. So what my pick machine's going to do is basically we're putting a pick. So that's gonna be easier to um, punch right into the styrofoam. That's it, and I think that kind of missed some of them. So, I'm just gonna take, I have some needle nose pliers, I'm just gonna pull that right off. Let me get these all picked up. We'll start with the roses and then we'll add um, the ficus leaves. I think I ended up using a whole pick of the ficus leaves in the first one I did. I did not put picks on the roses the first time, but I think I'm going to this time. Just so then that way, um, they'll kind of stick because if you can see, they kind of got a jagged edge. Like I said, this tool, you can get uh, this tool at Hobby Lobby. Oh, well, I don't want to pick because I don't know how long I'm going to put them, huh? So let's pick one out. I think I picked, put the one in the middle with no leaves. I think there was one that had no leaves. Oops. So let's just start. So I'm gonna pull this a little closer. So we're just gonna put that first one right in the middle. So then that's going to be, you know, how tall you want it. I don't know if that's as tall as this one. You know, that looks like it's in there with the pick that helps it go in better. So there's that one. And then like I said, what we're going to do is just kind of let's pick this one. And my pick machine is jammed. There we go. So then we're gonna take this next one. You can easier use your thimble or we can 
So we want this one to kind of be, see how it's going to cascade down? Let's cut a little bit more off of this one though. So we're just going to kind of go around the center one. And we're going to cascade, cascade around it. Kind of make them all come down off the center. Cut a little more off this one. So you see how the... Um, with the pick on the bottom, helps it go into the foam a lot better. As I say that, and that one's a little stubborn. Okay, so there we go. We got five. And then I'm going to put a couple FICA leaves. I'm going to put some of the bigger ones. We're going to put the bigger ones. I think I hid my thimble. Yep. So we're going to put some of the bigger ones here. So the bigger ones are more into the middle of the flower. And like I said, you can just use your thimble to push it down. So basically, we're just trying to get the greenery to fill up. So you want to make it look full. You don't want to be able to see... This worked much better when I did the roses. So this this leaf over here looks like it's kind of hanging. I'll have to cut that off. So let's put another fica here in the middle. it looks so far and then what we're going to do is then start putting them in a little lower so then I'm going to now space these in between that second tier. You know, and they're bendable. You can put them where you want them. So let's keep going around. We're gonna do this third tier. Again, we're gonna kinda of put it in the middle of the last two. is left so what we're gonna do I see this is kind of getting kind of let me get another push pin here and get this moss to cover up a little better okay so let's put some more fica leaves in like I said you could take your thimble Just filling it up. You want to fill it up with greenery. You can use any kind of greenery you want. That's just what I had on hand. I'm putting them so the leaves are, the good side of the leaves are coming out. So you can see that's filling up nicely. And then now let's put in the last of our roses and then we're going to put the four in a little lower.
So you can kind of even bend them out so it comes out a little, this one. My husband, I got the door open and my husband's outside um, fixing the gutter. We're adding some um, stone and stuff to our dog pen. And we want the gutter to drain off. So, so and then I think... I think I'm gonna stick the one here. You can kind of see like where you have it empty and kind of bring them out. So I think I'm gonna stick that last one right in here. I'm a little bare, so. If you want, you can always pick up three. I only picked up two of the yellow. I see my pick machine is being stubborn today. Just don't ever put your fingers in there. This one here. And I did that earlier too. I bent I bent my pick trying to push it in. Okay, so let's because I think it might be trying to get in. So that's all our roses and so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some more fica and I'm gonna kind of add it to the bottom here so it will fill it up but that's what we have so far Turn them this way so then the leaves are kind of coming down. Oops, that was the rose. supposed to rain tonight so he's trying to get that gutter and everything done well plus he's got a trench because <laughs> we're gonna trench it away out from the house so I'm just going around the bottom getting some of these smaller ones in That's about all I got left. Okay, and then you just kind of see, like I said, I'll have to cut that one leaf off. I see the rose. And I think I'm, since I'm gonna cut off, I don't know which, this leaf right here. I think I'm gonna put, I have one more fike and I think I'm just gonna stick it in here. So when I cut that leaf off, it won't look as bare. 
And then you just kind of arrange your flowers how you want them. You know, you can... But that pretty much is it. Like I said, you know, it's nice to put it in like a little a little uh, tall, tall glass. But that is our little cemetery uh, vase. I hope you enjoy.